Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Emily and I make interior design content. I am really excited for today's video because I am working with Lowe's on a really fun project. Lowe's has a YouTube channel, it's really good. And on their YouTube channel, they have a series called Showroom Steals, where basically they are making the look but on a budget. The challenge today is to take an everyday item and up furnish it into one of these items to dupe the look but on a budget. And this is a great way to save money but also to be really conscious about our consumption. So today we are going to dupe the look of this. Everyone has been loving this minimal but still warm contemporary feel that has been going around. So fun fact is that bread boxes have actually been trending lately which is really cool. People have been putting them together with the open part in the front to make a bedside table. My idea is to rotate the box and put the other side together so that way the rounded side is on the outside similar to how these furniture pieces look. So let's head over to Lowe's now to pick out some supplies for this project. So to get started with this DIY, I just want to remove the knob on the front and put on my own hardware. And I could not find my small screwdriver for the life of me when I was doing this. You can also just use a little bit from your drill. Life hack. And then I'm just using a drill bit to make the hole a little bit bigger because my hardware would not fit. And then I'm just screwing it into place and remember that I'm using these smaller replacement screws that I bought from Lowe's. Then I want to attach the two bread boxes to each other. So I'm just drilling some holes in between them while they're pushed together. And I'm using some nuts around the screws to fasten them together. Now this part's kind of funny but I just made a little makeshift template for myself out of computer paper and I'm just making some marks where I want to make the holes to hang it on the wall. Then I can just drill straight into the marks and then take the paper, flip it over, and put it on the wall. Once I have my little makeshift template on the wall, I'm just putting some anchors into where the holes are. I'm starting off with a hammer to get them in place and then I'm just screwing them right in. Then you just remove your little template and you're left with your anchors in the perfect spots on the wall. And then I was able to really easily just screw it into place. Now, if you have the same type of bread box as me, there might be these little holes on the top of it where you screwed your bread box together. Every model is different, but for mine, I'm just using some wood filler to fill up those holes so you don't see them. Now let's take a look at the finished product. That is it for today's video. I hope that you found this DIY really helpful. And if you try it out, make sure to tag me. I would love to see. And thank you so much to Lowe's for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys all next time. Bye guys.